Hey interwebs, welcome back. It's Tethys, and this is the Resident Evil HD Remaster. Last episode we ended up fighting what looks like it was a little girl that Umbrella, I guess, had been experimenting on. And we got to see the result of that. Um, it was quite disturbing. <laughs> and found Wesker, and he's being shady as hell. And speaking of saving from earlier, we found more ink ribbon. So, let's put that away. And let's continue. I think we're getting pretty close to the end here. There's kerosene. And a zombie. A zombie doctor? Oh, I guess we found out what happened to them. They're zombie scientists, sorry. They're not doctors. Well, I guess they could technically be doctors. Uh, it got me from behind. What's this? An MO disc. Two MO discs. Are they all dead? Probably not, but that's fine. They can stay like that for now. So we've got two MO discs now. What's the point of that? I can't imagine they would give us two of one thing for no reason. Although they did give me a second survival knife, so I guess maybe I'm getting them too much credit at that point. What's this? Levers. Now if you can just release the locks, that's probably what I need the MOs for. And that's locked. There's a door right here that I can use. What's that? X-ray of what? David Clark. Hmm. Interesting. Gail Holland. Memo is on the message board. Something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetic order. Okay. So we got Gail Holland. Alex Beckett. Ed Fisher. Alex Beckett. Ed Fisher. ABC. D. No, I don't want to. No, I don't need to. Why? Shouldn't have to. Researcher's letter. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and I suspect, suspected I came out positive. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass, but if it has turned out you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then, activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. 
I set up the terminal in the small security room so you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture, a, ron a rontgenogram. I know you, and I'm sure you'll be able to work it out without any trouble. There's one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put out me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. Okay. Put the initials in alphabetic order. Yeah, it should be fine. Sure. The two photographs positions have been exchanged. Gail Holland. There's a name written Gail Holland. Alex Beckett. I actually remember hearing something about how this was the biggest pain in the butt to deal with. Yeah, okay. That should work. Part of it is glowing red. Part of it's glowing red. 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 Esophagus, liver, stomach, colon. Okay, I th think that is right. Okay. Should have opened the door. But it's glowing red. What did I do wrong? Okay, well, regardless, there is a second door that we haven't opened yet, and I think it's usable, so we're gonna go try that first before we start freaking out too much about it. <gasps> no, that was close. That was just dumb luck I didn't get grabbed. No, don't turn around. Go out that door. Oh, magnum bullets. Part of a corpse lies on the part of it, yeah. Umbrella. V, v Act researchers note. There's now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We'll call them V Acts. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already, four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. 
That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decide to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Oh, that's what that was. Um, nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, back. Basement floor. Door lock operation. Select floor. Permission denied. Esophagus, lungs, colon. Was esophagus, liver, colon. Unlocked. Okay. Basement floor third. Entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock to all the passcodes. Oh, that's... The cadavers are frozen and wrapped in body bags. A variety of chemicals. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Flash grenade. There's still something in here. I apparently cannot walk today. Electron microscope. Oh, right, 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 right. Almost forgot about the magnum bullets. Mm, there's still something in here. Might as well use those. Now. That unlocked one of the doors. Oh, yeah, there it is. Sweet. Come on, Chris. There you go. One less zombie to worry about. Oh, come on. Oh. No, I don't want to be on this side. I want to be in here. Okie dokie. I probably want that now. Grab it. I can't because reasons. Alright. Well, then we'll just go in here and see what we can do then. No. No. Magnum bullets. Cartridge. Actually, we are going to use that. Then we're going to use that. What's that? Something behind the sturdy door. Yes, I will open it. Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. It looks like a refueling device. The shelf is lined with bottles that contain a powdery substance. That's probably what's used to blow up the facility. 
the facts. Sanitation Division, Attention Manager, Sanitation, Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The context of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-Virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-Virus and died. It's also been reported that almost all the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-Virus infection. Second concern, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Oh, lovely. Guess what? I do. Okay, I can't use it again. Alright, is that it for this room? Nope, there's still stuff. Oh right, a bullet. Which thankfully stacks. Alright, that's it for this room, I believe. Yep, okay. Out we go! That's one door. Hmm. Uh. I know. I think I know, I think I know. Esophagus, colon, liver, lungs. Uh, let's look at our notes here. Set up a turn on all small stuff. You can log in and use my name and your password. Another password to release the lock of the door in basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. I have coded that password into an x-ray picture. Esophagus, colon, liver, lungs, I think, that's what it was. Esophagus, lungs, liver, colon. Colon, esophagus, cell, that's what it is. Esophagus, liver, lungs. Dash the code, we did it! This is a bit of a mind teaser, although I was just trying to line the images up in my head. For some reason, I was thinking A instead of E. Esophagus instead of esophagus. Let's try this again. All right, 
Alright, where did you unlock it? It's on the second floor. Okay. Yeah, we're done here. There's still an item sitting around that I am not seeing. So I must be missing something. What? Gotta be something. I just don't know what. Ugh, that's gonna bother me. It might just be a way of telling me, hey, the computer's there. Okay, gotta go back upstairs. Hoping we're getting really close to the end. Oh shit! I forgot about you. Nope. Get fucked. One I can handle. Two I cannot. I hope that me going into this room didn't like stop his head from blowing up. Oh, hello, Spray. Yes, I will take you. Oh, what's this? Another ammo disc. Okay, so there are three. Oh, it's been set into place. Hewitt it. Umbrella. Bioorganic Weapon Official Report. MA-39 Cerberus. The Neptune. The Hunter. The Tyrant? Bioorganic Weapons Research Group Development Staff. 8341073. Cerberus. Neptune. Hunter. Tyrant. Development staff. 8462. Security protocols. Level 1 heliport for executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an, er of an emergency. Passage to heliport entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons enter entering the heliport will be shot on sight. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Visual data room. For use only by the Special Research Division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Arving, room manager. Prison. Sanitation division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith S. Ross A. Wesker. There. Albert Wesker must be present if the viral use is authorized. Triple lock door. Entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all the passcodes, accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers deactivates the lock. Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used as the primary fuel and source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Passcode Output Terminals. Use and access of the Output Terminals is limited to authorized senior researchers. Regarding the progress of Tyrant, after the administration of T-Virus, illeg illegible hereafter. Yep. Guess we know why Wesker was so shifty. 
Because Wesker's been in on it the whole time. And there we have the last disc. But we still got stuff in here. Oh, right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. Yes. Eight, four, six, two. There we go. Now what did that... What's this? Some sort of image editing equipment. Looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. Yes. Get away from me! No! Hey! No! No! Oh. <sighs> Lovely. And we need to heal anyway. We need this key. Is that everything? No, there's still stuff in here. What am I missing now? We viewed Kenneth's film. No, I don't need to. Oh, no. No, that wouldn't do it. Where? I am in the lab, thank you. Okay, well, we'll come back later if we have to. Although I'm pretty sure we found everything that we Nope. Nope. Oh, fudge, nuggets. Fudge! There. Done with you. Great. Now, can I... just not get snatched by you? Thank you. Eat that. That is so satisfying. Alright. Can I use the key? Yes, I did. Can I use the key? Yes, I did. There's no further use. Discard. Hey, okay, what's in here? The hell? Oh, okay, I can climb up. Derp, derp, derp. Oh. Can I not? Oh, there we go. Okay, so those are bullets. Is there any reason to climb up? Oh, there is. What even is that? I can't even see it. We're crawling. Super stealth. So 
this? Another flashbang. I will take that. Thank you. Oh my god! What the hell is that thing? Ducky. Oh no, you don't! What the hell even is that? I didn't see that in the reports. It's rusted shut. No shit. The operating table is covered in blood. This doesn't look like it came from surgery, though. Is there anything in this room? No, there's not. Well, that was disgusting. I have a feeling those were T-virus infected cockroaches or something. That, or... They started mixing that DNA with humans. Which is absolutely gross. I do not like body horror uh, movies like that either. It just really creeps me out. That's why I can't watch The Fly or things like that. Or, what was it, another one called, I think it was Bite? I watched that and it's just like, oh god, don't watch it if you're not able to handle body horror. Because it's bad. Oh god. Just talking about it makes my stomach sick. Ugh. Save room. I like save rooms. And. <sighs> Where's my. Oh, ribbon. No, don't open it again. No need to. Oh, well, no, I can't really carry that, Chris. Yes, I will save my progress. Thank you. Alright, I think we're going to end it there today, so... Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment in the section below telling me what you liked, as well as any suggestions you have for future games, especially since we're probably getting really close to the end here, so. Uh, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. It makes it easier for other people to find my videos, and then we can make the community grow, hopefully. Thanks for watching again. See you later. Bye!